Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Jeff Gelblum, neurology from sunny and hot South Florida, uh, coming today uh, with some brand new information uh, regarding care and treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Now, for those of you who have followed our Facebook Lives over the past several months, you're aware of all the new developments uh, that have been going on uh, in the neurology space as relates to the evaluation, management, care, and treatment of Alzheimer's. And if you've been paying attention to the news, as of last Friday, there was a brand new development uh, whereby a medication that our group has been working with, our group here at First Choice Neurology, our group has been working with this medication, and the medication is called Lecambi, L-E-Q-E-M-B-I, Lecambi. It's a Japanese name, because it's a Japanese company that developed it. Uh, and this new medicine just got FDA approved this past Friday, uh, and the medicine has uh, been shown to be helpful for individuals with Alzheimer's disease. Now, we've had other medicines for Alzheimer's disease, and for those of you who have uh, watched us before, you know we've talked about drugs like dinepazil, which raises up brain levels of acetylcholine in hopes of improving memory. And you've heard of us talk about another medicine called Namenda, which drops down the level of glutamate, which is also uh, important for, for brain function and memory. But those medicines don't really do anything to impact, to modify the progression of the disease. So that's why this news that just came out this past Friday is so exciting to all of us in the neurology space. And I would say it's probably as exciting as when we first got uh, treatment for HIV. Remember many years ago, uh, AZT came out and that was the first treatment that could actually impact uh, the deadly trajectory of AIDS. Well, we're kind of at that same point now in neurology where we've got a whole new class of medications that are FDA approved to modify the decline of Alzheimer's disease. These drugs are called anti-amyloid drugs. And the way they work is they block the, uh, the formation of amyloid on the brain. Amyloid is a plaque, it's a protein substance. Uh, and when the amyloid sits on brain cells, it's kind of like bubble gum mucking up the works. So we've got now a whole new class of FDA approved medications that are anti-amyloid they're injections, meaning you go to one of our infusion labs uh, and you receive an infusion of this antibody, monoclonal antibody, that is specifically designed to scrub off the amyloid plaque off the brain. And of course, you know, the reason why you like listening to me as your neurologist is because I'm bald, so I can point to every area of the brain that's involved with whatever treatment we're involved with. So that's why I always go to a bald neurologist. But with that being said, uh, the medication that just got FDA approved has been shown to reduce the progression, to slow the progression of Alzheimer's disease, and in fact, it improves your cognitive functioning, improves your memory, your focus, your attention, all of that. So it really is a game changer uh, in the field of neurology for those of us who treat Alzheimer's patients. So I'm here today to tell you how one goes about uh, getting this medication because it's not as easy as it seems. Uh, first of all, you need to have the diagnosis. So for any of you watching, if you or a loved one are impacted by Alzheimer's disease, it's very important that you, that you pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. You have to go to a neurologist and you have to go to a neurologist that is specially trained, like myself, uh, in the evaluation and management of Alzheimer's disease specifically. Uh, so therefore, we at First Choice Neurology, our group, fcneurology.net, First Choice Neurology is especially trained, myself and all my other neurology colleagues here in our large group, are especially trained to be able to evaluate you or your loved one to see if you have Alzheimer's disease as a cause of your memory problems. Remember, there's different things that can cause memory problems. Alzheimer's is one of them but other things such as strokes or tumors or multiple sclerosis or history of head trauma or underlying disease, that can also contribute to memory problems. So it's important that we get a diagnosis clearly on the chart 
uh, clearly identifying Alzheimer's as the cause. And then the next step is to get what's called an amyloid PET scan. That is a specific type of brain scan. And what it does is it looks at the amyloid plaque on the brain. You're injected with a little bit of medication. You go into the scanner. Uh, we look at the images that the scanner presents. And if there's light up on that brain scan, then we can say that there is presence of amyloid. And if there's presence of amyloid, that tells me, as well as my other neurology colleagues, that the cause of the mild dementia is Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's pathology, because Alzheimer's pathology is amyloid based. Once we have that information, then we can start to treat. Now the treatment that we use right now, Lakembi, the drug that just got FDA approved, we've been using this drug since January uh, as a preliminary approval process. Uh, that drug is infused every two weeks. The good news is that Medicare just came out with its coverage determination. And this is really phenomenal news. So the way it works is you go to the neurologist, you get yourself tested. Uh, if the neurologist comes up with a diagnosis of Alzheimer's based upon the PET scan findings, we could also do a spinal tap for individuals who can't get that PET scan. But be that as it may, we've got all sorts of good tools where we can come up with a specific diagnosis of Alzheimer's cause of the dementia. Once we have that information at hand, and assuming that you're mild, and by mild I mean you have to score pretty good on a mini mental status exam or another type of cognitive test that we do right in the office, chair to chair, doctor to patient. Uh, if you score pretty good on that test, meaning that you're in the mild setting, then at that point you're a candidate for the medication and beginning July 26, Medicare will start to cover it. And if Medicare covers it, that means that other private insurance covers it as well because Medicare is usually the lead coverage entity and then all the other private insurances like Blue Cross Blue Shield, uh, AvMed, Cigna, Aetna, go all follow suit. Uh, but with that, with that being said, once you are in the mild setting and once we have confirmed Alzheimer's amyloid pathology, at that point, uh, we would initiate uh, treatment. Now we have one of our questions, I always like to break a little bit for questions. So one of our participants today uh, Becky asked, uh, does it help dementia? Well, yes, we are talking about Alzheimer's dementia uh, because that's the specific dementia that this drug helps and that's for which it's FDA approved. So I just can't give it to you if you've got uh, dementia from a stroke or dementia due to underlying medical disease or dementia related to Parkinson's, it doesn't work for that. Uh, the drug as it stands now is FDA approved specifically for dementia of the Alzheimer's type and more so mild. Once you're in the moderate to severe phase, probably the drug will not be as effective, or at least it hasn't been shown to be as effective thus far. The studies so far have shown utility in the mild setting. So that's where we're really restricting its use. And just like any other disease, when you catch something in the mild phase, you're far more likely to get a good outcome than if you wait till it's advanced. So certainly we'd like to capture our patients as early as possible. And that's why I like to do these public service announcements on Facebook Live. Because if you are beginning with some symptoms of short-term memory loss or a little bit of uh, getting lost while you're driving or you're having problems finding words, etc., then it's very important that you're seen by one of us neurologists at First Choice Neurology because we are specially trained to make the diagnosis of what type of dementia you have. And if it is a mild Alzheimer's dementia, then voila, we can treat with this new medication that has been shown to alter the trajectory of the disease that to actually modify uh, the course of the disease. And that's super important. Um, we have another participant, Molly, uh, who said that her husband has Alzheimer's disease now and wants to know if the medication will help. Well, here's my response, Molly. If your husband is in the mild setting, as long as they're mild, and as long as it's confirmed Alzheimer's pathology, then the medicine will help. Let me give you a little bit about a history of the medicine. The medicine is called Lakembi. Chemical name is Lakanumab. Uh, it is a monoclonal antibody, which means it's made in the laboratory. It's a biopharmacologic compound. 
that is designed specifically to latch on to the amyloid plaque in the brain and <laughs> scrub it off. Uh, side effects from this drug can be occasionally brain swelling, a little bit of bleeding in the brain, but we watch for that. We neurologists are trained to watch for that, and the way we watch for that is by doing MRI scans every few months to make sure that your tolerability, your response to the, bro to the drug is good. Uh, and people say, well, why do you get swelling and why do you get some, uh, sometimes some bleeding with it? Well, the analogy that I always like to give is if you have plaque on your teeth and you go to the dentist to get your teeth cleaned, and as a result, sometimes you have a little bit of bleeding or a little bit of gum swelling, well, that's one of the signs that the treatment is working. So when we see a little bit of brain swelling, a little bit of uh, brain bleeding, and this is all microscopic, it's nothing that, that will instantly produce a stroke-like syndrome. Uh, when we see that on the brain MRI scan, because we screen for this, we screen for this side effect every few months to make sure that the drug is given to you as safely and as effectively as possible. Uh, when we screen for that, we can easily see that on the MRI, and then we take a little hold on the drug, let that heal up, and then we can restart the drug. So this new medication, uh, and there are other medicines coming down the pike in the next couple of years that work the same way. Uh, this new medication is specific to remove the amyloid plaque uh, off of the brain because we believe that that is the underlying cause of the Alzheimer's. And the way we prove that is with our PET scan uh, or with our spinal tap. So we have wonderful tools available to us, not only to evaluate your dementia, but to specifically identify the cause. And if it's amyloid-based, meaning if it's Alzheimer-based, then at that point, we have the medication available that is now FDA-approved uh, and now covered by Medicare. Uh, to treat. So purpose of today's uh, up-to-minute information is to tell all of you, if you're in contact with anyone who has Alzheimer's, family member, friend, loved one, anyone, uh, if they are in the mild setting, they got to get themselves evaluated as soon as possible because our window of opportunity is, is really in the mild setting. Uh, once you're in moderate to severe, then at that point the medicine is, is not approved. Uh, it may not work. Uh, and that's why this Facebook Live is not being geared toward nursing home patients or folks who are bed bound. It's really being geared to all of you uh, who are living with someone at home, functioning highly uh, with an Alzheimer diagnosis because at this point we can now treat and by treating early, we are able to delay and limit the progression of the disease, keeping that individual functioning much, much longer uh, than without the medication. So a lot of information has just been shared with all of you. Uh, the good news is we have the opportunity, the ability, the desire, the wish, the passion to treat uh, mild Alzheimer's disease because we've got the tools to do it. So that's why this is a call to action. Uh, and if any of you know anyone who is suffering from this condition, please get them in touch with us neurologists here at First Choice Neurology. fcneurology.net is our website. Uh, we can evaluate you via telehealth. If you just want to pick up the phone and do what's called a neuro chat with one of us neurologists to learn more about the condition or what to look out for or are you at risk, then go on our neuro chat site, neurotogo.com, N-E-U-R-O, number two, go. Dot com, neurotogo.com, where you can spend uh, some time uh, chatting with either me or one of my neurology colleagues here at First Choice Neurology. Uh, and at that point, we'll tell you what you need to be on, on the lookout for uh, in terms of whether it's Alzheimer's disease or something else. And then most importantly, for any of you who are logging on today and watching and have a parent who may be suffering from dementia and you're wondering, hey, could I be at risk if my mom or dad uh, has an Alzheimer condition. Well, now we've even got a genetic screening test uh, that we can use. It's called a GenoScore, and it's a saliva-based test, as simple as spitting into a little test tube. We send the, uh, that sample off to the laboratory, and in approximately four to six weeks, we get back a GenoScore, which actually tells you 
what your risk of late onset Alzheimer's disease will be. And, and we can do this whether you're 83 or 33. Uh, so that we can share with you uh, to tell you about not only your family uh, member who has Alzheimer's, but what your relative risk would be going forward. And then of course, if you do show up as positive on that Geno score risk, uh, then we can intervene with all sorts of modifications, uh, healthy mind, healthy diet, uh, types of, uh, of recommendations for you. So this is an extremely exciting treatment space right now, and I, I hope you, you feel my passion, my excitement for getting uh, to treat this as quickly as possible because we've got medication that's available, we've got technology and diagnostic tools that are available uh, to really make sure that we identify you early, we make sure that treatment is being provided safely, effectively, uh, and in a well-managed setting. Uh, and if you need to know more, please feel free to visit us on a NeuroChat, neurotogo.com. Feel free to log on to our website, fcneurology.net, where you can meet live or uh, via telehealth with one of our board-certified neurologists. And again, I'm going to be coming back to you a lot. You may actually get sick of me because I'm going to be bringing you up-to-the-minute information about uh, exciting developments uh, in this disease. So time is of the essence. Uh, if you know of someone with Alzheimer's, loved one, family member, neighbor, friend, please put them in touch with one of us uh, because with this new approval this past Friday, we now have medication that can impact and modify the progression of Alzheimer's disease, and this has not happened before. So we are at a bold new point uh, in the treatment of dementia. That's why I'm bringing you this information today on Wednesday, because the information isn't even a week old. It just came out last Friday. So I appreciate your time and attention. Feel free to visit me uh, online, neurotogo.com, set up a neuro chat, uh, or feel free to come into the office. I'm here in Aventura, Florida. Uh, my other colleagues are throughout the state of Florida, so we're available and willing to treat and able to treat and eager to treat uh, with regard to the accurate diagnosis uh, and management of a dementia illness. So I appreciate your logging on today. Please share this message uh, with your friends. Uh, and then this Facebook Live will be displayed on our website, fcneurology.net, uh, for the next several weeks. So if you missed it or they missed it, no worries. Just log on to the website and you'll be able to see a recap uh, of, of today's discussion. Appreciate your time and attention. And I will be back to give you more exciting medical updates uh, in the field of neurology. So have a great afternoon. Uh, enjoy your Wednesday. Uh, try and stay cool because a lot of the uh, U.S. is sweltering right now. At least I've got air conditioning here in, in Aventura, Florida. Uh, but uh, I will be back to share more information with you uh, as, it, as it develops. So thanks for your attention, and I will see you all soon. Have a great afternoon.